Plenty of people might think a year on a school bus with family would be a test on their mental health. But Robin Cruz and her husband Tim Harrington are doing it for their mental health. The two packed up their lives in Colorado, renovated a bus, and are now traveling through the country with their two daughters, stopping as they go to have conversations about mental illness and breaking down the stigma. In addition, they're hosting intimate events in towns and cities along the way. Peggy and I sat down with Tim and Robin to talk about the journey so far, six months in, and the change they hope to inspire in not just the strangers they meet, but in their own children. I really wanted to do something that I could share not only with my colleagues and with the general public, but with my kids, because the next generation are the ones who are going to lead us out of the stigma, because mm -hmm. they are seeing how we've handled it and they want to see changes. We've met kids along the way who have shared with us, these adolescents who have shared with us their experience in mental health, and they say all the time, thank you for doing this, it needs to be talked about more. So we're taking, <laughs> we're taking direction from people who are very invested in changing the conversation and the face and the narrative of mental health and addiction. That's really the goal. Robin, you've been open about the fact that this is very personal for you and that your father didn't get the help that he should have. How have you seen this change progress? The concept of what mental illness is and the reality of it is very different. You know, he's a man who was incredibly strong, is incredibly strong, uh, worked tirelessly for his family, uh, and still had that need of um, I have to keep this secret to myself because, mm. God forbid, it gets out. What does it say about myself? What does it say about my family? Mm. The reality is 16% of our high schoolers in the United States have thought about suicide. 13% of them have actually considered a plan for it. Mm. Which is terrifying. Mm. Terrifying. Terrifying. terrifying statistic. And yeah. so my children are 11 and a half and They're 13. Right right. And so what am I doing? What am I doing about my own stigma? Because I still have stigma. Those thoughts in my head when I struggle with an anxiety attack or a panic attack that doesn't go away, I think to myself immediately, what are people going to think? I think that. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a huge pattern to break. Uh -huh. But as you guys travel around the country in your bus mm -hmm. and you're holding events, what mm -hmm. happens at these events and what do you hope people will get from them? My darling, what are we doing today? What we say is, what can we do? What actions can we take? Because education and awareness isn't really our challenge. There's lots of that out there and there's lots of people doing stuff. Our goal is to get people to take action within themselves, within their families, within their communities, within their states, and within their country. And those actions that we can take are things like I do, which is changing the language. Really important to change our words. Words mm -hmm. matter. Mm -hmm. And so we really emphasize that a lot. And you have two kids, 11, I'm sorry, 12 and 13. Yeah. So you really have a front row seat to the challenges that you were talking about, mm -hmm. what the kids are dealing with mm -hmm. at a young age when they're really in no way equipped. Right. So I, it has to be informing the work that you do. Oh, absolutely. And here's, a, here's what's actually um, the passion behind it, is that we see people struggling with uh, a cold or a flu or something more painful like a cancer, right? They go to their doctor and they ask for the help. Mental illness is the same as physical illness and they sh people that are struggling should be able to get the access and the respect the same way that those struggling with physical illness. And we have to bring that narrative to the forefront. There's no reason why we shouldn't be having the, the same amount of money, the same amount of respect, the, the same amount of conversation right. as we do something like cancer or diabetes or you know, setting up gyms. We should have the same for mental illness. Absolutely. You know, we have to ask because mm -hmm. you guys are all loaded onto a bus together. Yeah. Four people and some animals. It sounds like yes. one one dog. Priscilla, that can make or break. <laughs> Queen of the bus. <laughs> Queen of the bus. <laughs> Queen of the bus. She holds us all together. <laughs> it's been six months. How has it been going for you? And what have you learned from that itself? Well, it's hump day in terms of the in terms of the trip. So we're trying to get over the hump. It's six months in, right. and we are tired. Yeah. 
I was thinking about this on the way over here. Very few people live a six month period where they're seemingly on vacation, where you're kind <laughs> of always doing things, where there's no long break. Like we take a vacation once a year for three weeks or something. We're taking a vacation constantly and it's very exhausting, but also very rewarding. So it's always both and. I've had one woman that just passed and went, me too, me too. And then another one was just like. Oh, I love it. It's bought, brought us to a level of vulnerability um, that is very healthy because we are sharing how we're feeling, we're honoring each other's process, and these are things that we can learn to do in our own families and with ourselves right. to move this forward because that's really the essence of it. We have such a, we have a really difficult time with this internal struggle of, I'm feeling this way, but I shouldn't. This is yeah. not fair, this is not right. And I don't want to tell anybody because I know intrinsically that I'm going to be judged for this on some yeah. level. It's really fascinating, I think it was for both me and Peggy when we were talking with them, just how much they actually care about this message and how they're stopping at different cities and they're having that conversation. And you saw they're just standing out there with even just a sign. No, I've never heard of anyone doing what they're doing. And I mean, it's obviously hard to gauge the impact, but what they're doing, you have to, you have to give them a lot of credit for going out there and uh, tackling this issue the way right. they are. And taking their kids along for an entire year on this journey, so yeah. it's really cool. Yeah. yeah, you can follow their journey along on social media, just search Wide Wonder.